What does it mean to have Alport syndrome? Maybe a doctor has told you that you have Alport syndrome. Or maybe you've heard that your mom, dad, brother, sister, uncle, or cousin have it. Just like having the same kind of hair, eye shape, or height, Alport syndrome gets passed down through families in their genetics or genes. Not these kind of genes, but these kind of genes. There's nothing you or your family could have done differently not to have Alport syndrome. It's just how you were born. Let's start with what having Alport syndrome does not mean. It does not mean that you can't play around like all people your age. It does not mean that you can't have fun. It does not mean that you can't grow up to be the wonderful person you are meant to grow up to be. But it does mean some of these things. You might have to be checked by a doctor more often. You might have to take medicine. You might sometimes see that your pee is dark or red or not the usual yellow color when you're sick. You might have to be more aware about eating foods that are good for your kidneys and about staying well hydrated by drinking water. You might also feel that your parents or caregivers are more worried about you because, hey, that's what parents do. Adults in your life worry because they love you and want to do everything right to keep you as healthy as possible. It does mean that you have a kidney disease. Kidney disease is actually very common. Experts report that one in seven adults in the United States have some type of kidney disease. That's 37 million people. But Alport syndrome is a rare type. However, we do know that thousands of families across the United States and hundreds of thousands of people across the world have this same kind of kidney disease. Here are some people that have Alport syndrome who shared their photos with us. Let's break this down. A syndrome is a group of healthy symptoms that are often found together. You might know that having Alport syndrome causes specific problems with how your kidneys work. It might also cause specific types of hearing loss and or vision problems. Not all people with Alport syndrome experience all these same things, but there is enough of a pattern in families over time to qualify as a health syndrome. Where did the name Alport come from? Well, almost 100 years ago in 1927, Dr. Cecil Alport was the first person to notice and study this particular pattern of kidney and hearing health problems in families. He published a research paper about it. Because his efforts helped other doctors notice and study the pattern, this syndrome was named after him. Kidneys have some pretty important jobs in our bodies, which include cleaning and filtering waste from your body, working with your heart to control blood pressure, making red blood cells that carry oxygen, using vitamin D to support healthy bones. Because Alport syndrome prevents your kidneys from doing all of their jobs properly, it's important that you visit a doctor regularly that knows a lot about kidneys. These specialists are called nephrologists. You visit a dentist to take care of your teeth, an optometrist for your eyes, an audiologist for your ears. People visit a nephrologist to check on how their kidneys are working. The nephrologist will want to see you regularly, typically once or twice a year. They can check the level of blood and protein in your pee and other chemicals in your blood, which gives them clues about how well your kidneys are doing their job. You'll likely have to pee in a cup and have some blood taken from your arm. These samples will be sent to a laboratory so doctors can evaluate them. Someone will also likely take your blood pressure with a cuff that hugs your arm for a minute, check your temperature, measure your height and weight. It's pretty cool how much important information doctors can get about your kidneys from these tests and checkups. If you have questions, these checkup meetings with your doctor are a great time to ask them. If you've been feeling differently lately, more tired, for example, always let your doctor know. Having Alport syndrome makes your kidneys work harder over time. This can cause other problems for your body. The nephrologist checks to find out if your kidneys are staying the same or slowing down on their jobs. Sometimes it's why your doctor may prescribe a medicine for you to take, but you may need to adjust the amount of medicine if you're not feeling well. Taking care of your kidneys from the time you're young can be really helpful to your overall health. It might make you feel worried to think about having Alport syndrome for you or other people in your family. That's understandable. We all want our bodies to work well. Remember, there are important things you can do to stay as healthy as possible. Eating kidney-friendly foods, staying hydrated with water, getting exercise, and taking your medication if the doctor prescribes it are all good ways of helping your kidneys work at their best. There's more information about all of these important tips on the Alport Syndrome Foundation website. You can visit with your parent or other adults that take care of you. 
If you do find yourself feeling worried, it's important that you speak with an adult you trust. It can also be great to meet someone else your age who also has Alport syndrome. We can help you connect your family to another that might have someone your age to talk to, or maybe you can attend an ASF family meeting in person so that you can hang out with kids who have Alport syndrome like you or in their family. With your parents' assistance, you can send us an email. We'll be happy to get you connected. Some kids with Alport syndrome have hearing loss and wear hearing aids. Maybe you do too. You could have a lot to talk about together. It's also great to make new friends from across the country and just share stories about school and stuff you enjoy doing. The best way to learn is to ask questions. Your doctor will be happy that you're interested in learning about how to best take care of your body. Then you, your doctor, and your parents or adults who love you can worry a little less because you know what to do to take care of yourself with them as part of your team. You and your family are not alone in having Alport syndrome and many of the things you may experience. You're part of the Alport syndrome community. We are working together to support research for better treatments and a cure for Alport syndrome. You can visit our website with your family to learn more about Alport syndrome. With your parents' permission, you can also send us an email and we'll write back. Your story is important to us. Sharing our stories as people living with Alport syndrome helps doctors and researchers learn more about our kidney disease. And sometimes sharing our stories helps other people living with Alport syndrome feel better about not being alone too. Thanks for joining us.